You still don't know which game engine is for you? Well, worry not, for I have the solution for you. Violence. I'll be making my first fighting game in 25 days to find out which is the best game engine. Day 1. I watched several gameplays of different fighting games and tried to break it into manageable pieces. Turns out, it's just punching and kicking. So when I found out about this, I started doing the basics. You know, the drill, movement, 3D models, texturing, and a lot of procrastination. Like, a lot. They mind this. But that's fine. We still have 30 days left in our pockets, so you know, plenty of time to spare. Despite all of the procrastination though, we did surprisingly well for the first few days. The game is set in a 3D world, but the movement for this fighting game will be limited to the x-axis and the y-axis. So we just yoink the z-axis and voila! 2.5D game. Simple. The game looks pretty boring though, and I don't want to spend most of the prototyping stage staring at a beam. So I jumped into 3D modeling. I designed the concept art. Ended up not using any of it because the concept might look smexy, right? But when you do the 3D modeling, it actually looks drugged up. You. This was only half of the battle. We have to figure out how to texture it. I was gonna go for a more futuristic look, but then I had a sudden flashback of one of my most Three, favorite two, games during one, childhood. Fight. Real Steel. It's a mobile fighting game with robots and I was head over heels for this game and would steal my cousin's iPad just to play it. This sudden rush of nostalgia motivated me to make Ghetto in the style of Real Steel. With rusty metal, scrap materials, I pixelated it for a more retro feel, wrapped it up and this is how it looks. Snazzy. <laughs> After a while, I was sitting on my chair. Eyes glued on the screen, but my mind was far off. So far, the journey has been smooth sailing. What the f- I'm not used to this. Where are the mental meltdowns and, and headbagging? Anyway, as suspicious as it seemed, I went on and made a camera designed for fighting games. Now, contrary to most game cameras, Cameras in fighting games are dynamic. The camera gets closer or further depending on the player's position. I found its tutorial on cameras for 3D fighting games, but the camera was a bit shaky though. So I scraped it off and looked for another tutorial, and turns out this was the only Godot tutorial for 3D cameras. And you know how heavily reliant I am in tutorials. <laughs> well, I'm doomed. Yes! I fixed the bug. It's good now. Wait, I think I think it's fixed. Yay! <laughs> it's fixed. Yay! Finished. But why? Why is something so seemingly simple? A camera, mukbang, all my brain cells. Now we can take into twerk, account my twerk, smooth brain. Twerk, twerk, twerk. twerk. <laughs> but wow. I was practicing masochism for five days, and then it hit me. Oh no, this might actually take a while. The camera might have been tricky, but we're moving on to finishing our 3D art. We got this, I made a 3D game last year, so my estimate is I'll be able to finish all my game art in one day. This was one day of progress. I One day estimate in my head was basically five days in reality. This was very concerning. Like, how complex are fighting games? Really? What makes it complex? And, and why how? is it taking me an entire day why to make attention to so 5D movements awkward and flimsy? I'll just sleep this off. And to make matters worse, my brother kept going on and on and how this will be like the rest of my games. Basic. Well, 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 young lad. This game will be everything but basic. Mark my words. Look. Weird. <laughs> if you're a new viewer, I have a little fact for you. I haven't made a single game for an entire year. It was mostly because I got bored of making games and a shitty laptop finally made me snap. Meaning, I had to relearn a bunch of things. 3D modeling, 3D animating took ages to make and that's, that's you know, that's fine. But here's the thing, even if I spent one, three, or even five hours 3D animating, it still doesn't have that oomph, you know? What's wrong with you? Like, my efforts were fruitless, and as discouraging as it seemed, 
we need to continue because I want to see Godot and Unity beat the shit out of each other. So the next day I worked on hitboxes. Fighting games usually have three types of hitboxes. There are hurt boxes, which areas where you can hurt the enemy. Hitboxes, which are the areas that hits the hurt boxes. And inclusion boxes, so that players just don't pass through each other. This took me an entire day because ladies and gentlemen, if we mess this up, we're gonna end up with this. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this day, this day was boring as hell, let me tell you. I'd rather watch paint dry. So to make life spicier, we need a dash of suffering. And what better way to do that than programming? Surprisingly though, it didn't take that long before the core mechanics were set. Just like what I asked for, a dash of suffering and never failed to deliver. So round of applause for game bugs. Finished the core mechanics, so I flexed on my stoic little brother and asked for his rating. Still basic. Like, why? There's no combo system. You know, he might be an ass cheek, but he's not wrong. So I'll be heeding his advice. I tried gathering inspiration from the Tekken series and went back to the oldest Tekken game I could play. So every Tekken games have combos. But does the first Tekken games have a combo system? Well, yes it does. And there were a lot of combos. Like, a lot. Oh god. The words of my brother kept ringing in my ears. But dude, hear me out. How do I animate this much combos when making a few animations already took me more than 5 days? I only have less than 2 weeks left, I ain't got no stages, and I still have to edit my videos. Okay, maybe, 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 you know, maybe we can pull this off somehow. Now this might be my worst idea so far. Like, I just came back to game development, right? I shouldn't be putting this much pressure on myself. Like, why am I getting so worked up over pixels on a screen? We have to go full gears on this if we want to have a solid combo system. If you haven't noticed in the previous clip, I haven't even started the combo system yet. I was still stuck with art and animations and I have to finish this before last week of January to have time for video editing. And I only have 3 days left. And no matter what I did, it still wasn't enough. I haven't made games in a whole year and maybe I'm just no longer good enough to make something that I can be proud of. Anyway, we don't have any more time to move around with our feelings. Suck it up, the deadline is fast approaching. Basic, basic, basic. No, we have no choice. Let's strip the gameplay to its core. It's just punching and kicking. Right, animations, art, code, all are set. But we have to work on the invisible things that makes fighting games feel crunchy. Frame freeze, screen shake, and as a cherry on top, post-processing, which is basically Instagram filters for game developers. Now, it's time to answer life's toughest question. Why is Unity's aesthetic? Is the game finally finished? Yes, but it felt defeating. <laughs> anyway, I started playing a few rounds with my bro. I found the secret move now. No, 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 that is not <laughs> yeah. the secret move. <laughs> Stop! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the screen is shaking too much. Hey, okay, there we go. No! <laughs> what the f- Even though I was getting beaten the crap out in my own game, I was actually proud of it. Yes, it's quote unquote basic. But I got to share this polished and finished work with my broski and I got to share it with you guys through itch.io. If I just kept on adding features one on top of the other, in the span of 25 days, could I have polished or let alone finished the game? Probably not. Look, 
It's magazine. <laughs> I guess sometimes choosing to do less and not more actually puts us in better situations. In case you're wondering which is the best game engine, Skado. Obviously, no bias going on there. I have the data.